This is an introductory lesson to parallel lines and their properties. So here I have line L that's being intersected by line T. I want you to imagine me taking line L and sliding it straight down. Okay, like right now it looks like a horizontal line. I'm just going to keep it and draw a second line parallel to L, just like I've slid L down against uh, line T. So this second line M is parallel to line L, and the way that we show two lines are parallel is we use little red triangles to say L is parallel to M. Now when I did this, I think it's easy for you to see that this angle top left in L, uh, to the left of T and above line L, is going to be the exact same as this angle where M, course, uh, where M intersects T. So those two are going to be um, congruent to each other. And then of course then the vertical angles to those will also be congruent to angle to each other. So all four of those red angles will be congruent. Well, the same thing with this angle over here. This angle is going to be congruent to this one. It's the same angle. And those vertical angles will be also congruent. So all of the blue angles are congruent to each other. So there's three things I want you to notice. The first of all is that all of the red angles are congruent to all of the other red angles. The second thing is that all of the blue angles are congruent to all of the other blue angles. And the third thing is that the sum of every red angle when added with a blue angle equals 180 degrees. You see how those red and blue angles are lying adjacent to each other along straight lines. But this holds true throughout the figure. So every red and blue uh, is our angle, every pair of them are supplementary to each other. Okay, so what follows is the first property, that when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, that every pair of corresponding angles is congruent. And then the second property is when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, that these alternate interior angles are congruent. So both pairs of alternate interior angles are congruent. And then a third property is that same side interior angles, so like this angle and this angle, different measures but those two angles always add to 180 degrees. So the property is when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal that both pairs of same side interior angles are supplementary. Okay, and then a last property of parallel lines cut by a transversal is really just an extension of corresponding angles. If I have um, one of two parallel lines that's perpendicular to a transversal, then I know that the other perpendic the other line, the other that's parallel to the first, oops, must be perpendicular to the same transversal. So the idea is that two parallel lines are both perpendicular. Um, to a, the same line. And that's really it for the properties of parallel lines. Now it's a matter of practicing applying those angle relationships uh, when looking at, you know, diagrams where it's harder to find the angles. So we'll practice that in another lesson.